invited by our local center, the Hare Krishna Center here in Mongolia, to um, come and share my experiences as a traveling monk around the world. Um, I'm giving uh, classes on this ancient scripture from India called the Bhagavad Gita, spoken by Lord Krishna 5,000 years ago. I was very pleased when I came here and I visited various religious monasteries and had discussions with the lamas and the monks. I noticed that um, you know, chanting mantras is central to, to both of our practices. And whereas in Buddhism, you, you sit and chant um, you know, silently or you, you chant with the other monks you know, sitting down in a peaceful environment. Our tradition, we stand, we, we sing, and we dance as we chant our mantras at the same time. This is yeah. Our mantra is um, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I find that Mongolian people are extremely pious. I attribute this to the fact that they've retained their original traditions of the country, including you know, their religious beliefs in Buddhism, especially in the countryside. In many countries in the world now, I feel that the, the material progress, which of course has so many benefits, I'm speaking on a television to millions of people, at the same time, it, it, it brings bad habits as well. There's a lot of alcoholism, there's a lot of drug addiction, illicit, promiscuous sexual activities, um, there's corruption, you know, coming from the West as well. And I see that's also in so, some ways affecting the country. So how to maintain our original, beautiful, the beautiful culture of Mongolia, you know, the original culture with the spirituality, while at the same time embracing material progress. You know, both are important, but how to keep the balance. Like Buddha said, the middle way, you know, material progress and spiritual progress side by side. So you know, the spirituality is a little bit in decline here, unfortunately. Many of the youth are forgetting and they're fascinated by Western culture. So I think we can help remind them of the beauty of Mongolian culture especially the spiritual culture. We can help in our humble way. And uh, sometimes people, they become agitated in the mind, they become depressed, they stress in the mind, and for this they become more aggressive to the society. Yeah. And for this, what can be the solution for them? You know, the, the, again, the bad effect of material progress. There's many benefits from material progress, but one bad effect is the stress and the anxiety that brings people. I see it all over the world. Just to sit in the traffic you know, and love to, yeah. <laughs> to get to work or to go shopping. There's so much stress, the, the traffic is horrendous. So people deal with this in an artificial way. They take drugs, they take intoxication, you know, they engage in bad habits and things like this. But this is not the way to deal with these problems. It's to complicate things. So then how can we get rid of this stress? Well, again, you know, there's a motto in India, simple living with high thinking. <laughs> not we make our lives so complicated there's no time to think about the deeper issues of life. Like, you know, who am I? Where am I come from? What happens in death? It's not, it's not. So that simple living you see in the countryside, in your country. As soon as you drive out of here, you drive to the Gobi Desert, it's all these beautiful, peaceful plains with animals grazing, and people living a simple life. Of course, we can't, the whole country can't go. Do that, we have our beautiful capital here. So here in the capital, we have to have some means by which we can be free from the stress and complicated city life. For that, we have to go back to our spiritual roots. You can't yeah. separate spirituality, you can't separate Buddhism from Mongolia. It's part of your culture. The real happiness comes from within. And by our spiritual practices, if we're, if we're, if we're happy within, through meditation, through thoughtful prayer, through visiting the temples and so forth, then we can deal with the stress. It's not going to go away. We can deal with it because inside we're happy. And that's why our contribution is to give people this beautiful singing which brings such joy to God. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. These names of God give great peace and joy. One can deal with this, with this stress and anxiety. We can cooperate with our leaders and sisters and spread these spiritual vials. Together, many hands make small work. Thank you. Thank you.